Hi, this is Sienna from Tribal Dance Long Island and welcome to the Tribal Dance Long Island costume shop. Um, it's a bit of a mess right now because we are in the middle of several projects. As you know, every costume that we wear, that our troupe wears, is made in-house right here at Tribal Dance Long Island from the skirts to our bras to our belts. All of the esoteric and interesting costuming that you see is made right here. This is where the magic happens. Um, because it is haunt season and we have a lot of very interesting and very cool uh, pieces of choreography coming up and of course we always get asked what's different, what's new this year, what interesting thing is TDLI doing? Well this year we have a couple of very interesting pieces of choreography that actually requires something as grand as these headdresses. Uh, as you can see I'm in the middle of molding one of the headdresses. Each one of these headdresses takes approximately an entire day to make a lot of um, molding, a lot of gluing. We actually mold the buckram itself, which is a hat making material. Uh, the horns have to be epoxied onto headbands with all of the sculpting material and then they need to be decorated. And it does take a while for the fitting and, and everything to happen. Um, but I wanted to let you in on some of uh, this year's secrets and show, you, show off some of the beautiful projects that we're doing here. Um, here's one of our headpieces and one of our newest members is going to be wearing this one. Uh, this one is for Nikki. You can see all of the detail work in the fall leaves and the crowning headdress that goes across the forehead. Uh, we have a lot, these are very naturalistic. We like to use a lot of naturalistic materials. Um, we've got acorns and feathers and um, I even have a bunch of lotus flower pods to put on the next one. Um, we love to have all of the sparkles in there as well to catch the light and make it very fantasy-esque and you can tip it back and you can see all the roses on it. Um, they're actually very light. They've been designed specifically for dancing in mind. Uh, you can see mine over here. Now mine's a little bit darker because, well, let's just put it this way. I'm still that Disney villain that's just emerging here. So everything is a little bit more gothic for me because that's just who I am. Uh, mine is the one with the skull. Uh, this particular piece of costuming is called the Celtic Morgana. It's, it's just molded onto uh, the form right now it isn't complete but when it is complete it will be going up for auction uh, you can see the back of the headdress we like to call these a dual exhaust system <laughs> the tribal dreads and the feathers coming out from the crowning really very cool piece right now i'm making one of my dance captain's headdress right now we are molding the horns onto the headpiece and covering it with felt and soon it'll look like one of these except it'll be all red and gold and really very gorgeous. Um, so this is just sharing with you some of the really cool stuff that goes on at Tribal Dance Long Island. Like when we say that we are an esoteric performing arts and cultural dance studio, um, performing arts center, this is why. Because we don't just dance, we do drumming, we do costuming, we make sure that everything is as unique as the people who dance here. So that being said, come and visit us, take a look at the costume shop and see what's new, see what we're doing differently and see what you can be a part of. We're always looking for people who like to sew and be a part of the community here. So we'll see you soon and I can't wait to see you at Halloween at the Witch's Ball in Sleepy Hollow. This is Sienna for Tribal Dance Long Island.